What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trey Entity here to break down the tight end unit for Alabama football as we head into 2022 spring practice. Guys, before we start this video, hit that like button. Help this video get to 500 likes. Help our channel grow. We appreciate you guys always being here and supporting Bama Insider. As we get into the tight end group today, a few names come to mind right off the bat, but I have to start by saying I think this group is one of the thinnest offensively for Alabama heading into spring practice. There's some young guys I really like coming into the program from the 2022 class. Of course, some veteran leadership like Cameron Latu as well. And a couple of guys exiting the program, along with the tight end coach from this past year, Drew Savota, and the hiring of new tight ends coach, Joe Cox. It's going to make this group really interesting to follow in spring practice 22. Let's get it started with the veteran, a guy that has been in T-Town since 2018, Cameron Latu, and a guy that was primarily tight end number one in 2021. Now listed on the roster at 6'5", 250 pounds, originally from Salt Lake City, Utah. The Westerner was converted, of course, to a tight end as he did start his career on the defensive side of the football. Redshirted that year in 2018, but then in 2019, just kind of out of depth to the tight end room. He worked on special teams as well, saw 11 games, putting him into a nice spot for 2020. He worked himself into a much more Increased production-wise role on offense, contributing on those duties along with special teams as well. Played in 12 games that season, only missing the Arkansas game. This past season, of course, in 2021, we really saw what Cameron Latu was capable of. He was the starter, and he did set the Alabama record for touchdown catches by a single tight end with eight, surpassing Irv Smith's record that came back in 2018. He finished tied for seventh in the SEC for touchdown catches and registered 26 total catches for 410 yards on the season. It's not a modern style tight end. It's more of your traditional big body blocking, space creating tight end. I love Cameron Latu. He's a very reliable tight end. Be a very good check down tight end. And hey, found him in the end zone eight times this season. You can get the production from Cameron Latu as well. He's gotten better as his career has gone on. And like I said, he was converted. So I think in 2022, now that he's had the reps, had the starting role, might see an even better, more productive Cameron Latu at tight end. Now, after Cameron Latu, of course, it was Jaleel Billingsley this past year when he was allowed to play. After being suspended for some time and just a controversial 2021, he's decided to transfer to the University of Texas. Major Tennyson graduated this past year as well, along with Kendall Randolph, who had some tight end minutes along with his role on the offensive line. So this group losing some guys, of course, to bringing in a few as well. But there's another guy on the roster currently that I think we could kind of see be tight end number two, at least for the first part of the season. A guy that has seen some action was a freshman this past year at 6'4", 260, Robbie Oots. He did see playing time in the first 11 games and suffered a lower body injury, was held out in the Iron Bowl, the SEC Championship game, and the Cotton Bowl before returning for the National Championship. He got one pass for eight yards this season, and if nothing else, got playing time. The guys I just mentioned before, none of them saw the field. Robbie Outs could be tight end number two right out of the gate, but I think some guys coming into the program are quickly going to get their opportunity. I got to start with Amari Niblak, a guy that played on both sides of the football in high school and was recruited as an athlete. I think he is going to be tight end number two as the season goes on. This kid is talented, extremely athletic, and another big body guy. You see in these highlights here is most of the time he's on defense, just bigger than everybody around him. I think he's going to use his size to his advantage, use his athleticism and his speed to earn some playing time with the Crimson Tide, potentially maybe split time by the end of the season with Cameron Latu. This is my guy right here, Amari Niblock. Expect big things in 2022, along with the other two coming in this class as well. Elijah Brown and Danny Lewis. Lewis, of course, committing on National Signing Day in the late period, so just this past Wednesday. Talk about him first year. He was rated as the number 19 tight end in the country. A three-star, he is at 6'4", 240 pounds from Louisiana. Crimson Tide secured him late in their class, but I have high hopes for Danny Lewis as well. He has room to grow, already got the size height-wise, and he's a quick tight end. Interested to see what he can do with the program. And our final player we're gonna talk about on the video today, Elijah Brown, a four-star tight end, listed at 6'5", 230 out of Hubert Heights, Ohio the number 10 tight end in the country and the number 10 player out of the state of Ohio. Another early period guy I love what I've seen on the tape from Elijah Brown. And if nothing else, I love that Alabama is adding highly rated depth to this tight end group. Hadn't really seen that in these past few classes. 
It's good to get depth at that position, and we'll see what we have in store for 2023. As Alabama heads into spring practice, it'll be interesting to see how new hire Joe Cox, the former Georgia quarterback and now the tight ends coach, will handle this group and replace Drew Savota as coach of the tight ends. And ultimately, what will the minutes look like in 2022 for this position group? Spring practice will be telling, but until then, guys, go to BamaInsider.com. Be sure to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, and get in the comments. Who do you think is going to be the starter, and who do you see coming onto the scene and making an impact in this tight end group for the upcoming season? For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Hannity. This has been an inside look at Alabama's tight end group for the 2022 season.